I'm going big in Japan on a solo adventure like no other I've ever experienced. It's the very famous crossing. Crazy, it's fantastic. Armed with stacks of online research and my trusty guidebooks, I'm going to discover the history and culture of this breathtaking country. Wow. Gosh, look at that. I'm travelling alone, but won't be lonely, as I've enlisted a host of expert locals to reveal Japan's history, culture and secrets to me. I'm going to have my first octopus ball. Oh, yeah! yeah! I'll be exploring historic Kyoto. It is quite spectacular, isn't it? And tasting all Osaka has to offer. That's one of the best things I've tasted in Japan. But the first stop on my solo expedition takes me to the extraordinary capital of Tokyo, where I immerse myself in a culture that takes me right out of my comfort zone. Is this a dream? <laughs> and I won't just be wrestling with culture shock, there'll be literal wrestling too. Wish me luck. Ah! I throw out the playbook on British table manners. It's good, it's good, it's good. And I step back in time to an exquisite shrine soaked in tradition. That deserves a, a deep bow. Welcome to Tokyo. So this is it. Jane in Japan. Yorkshire tea to tea ceremonies, battered fish to sushi, and so much more. I can't wait. It's 6,000 miles from Wakefield to the islands of Japan, clustered in the Pacific, east of Asia. My odysseys taking me to the ancient mysteries of Kyoto and the food hub of Osaka. But first, it's the capital, Tokyo. My connecting flight's in Helsinki, but the downtime's fine as I need all the prep I can get. I've got two hours to kill. In fact, I've got 13 and a half hours on the plane as well, so I'll be able to speak Japanese, never mind just learn about it by the time I get off. I've learned, Kinichiwa, that, and you know, none of this handshaking thing, hugging, no, no, no. So I'm bowing, because it's respectful for any country that you go into to learn their customs so that you don't offend anyone. And you know me, I can offend anybody. So here we go, so Kinichiwa. Which literally means good day, or as we say at home, now then, how do? We're here. We're in Tokyo, in Japan. And it is all exciting. My earliest memories of Japan are from travel shows. Even in black and white, the country seems technicolour. And I couldn't have imagined then that I'd see it for myself one day. I'm bubbling away inside, but that could be my digestive system because, you know, I've just had a 13 hour flight. But I don't think it is. I think it's just that I'm really excited about being here. It's just totally different from anything is Japan. I've never seen so many people either. People seem to walk in lines and nobody jaywalks here as well. Everybody stands at the curb. Fascinating to see. From my research, I'm expecting to be confused, intrigued and excited at every turn. But one thing all capitals have in common is that city centres are the place to be. So that's why I've booked a hotel in the Shibuya district. Hello. Fantastic. Have Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, it's my brow size. Oh, here we go. I checked out one of those places you must visit websites. So I'm dumping my bags and heading off to the first spot they recommended. The first suggestion is Shibuya's world-famous pedestrian crossing. No, really, a pedestrian crossing. It's here. The very famous crossing is actually here. This is what Oxford Circus was based on. I read that ours was remodelled on this in a bid to ease pedestrian congestion. 3,000 people can cross this intersection of seven roads every two minutes in rush hour without anyone kicking off. Although it's so busy, it's so organised. There's no horns tooting. There's nobody swearing at somebody going past you. 
Everybody is waiting. It's crazy, it's fantastic. Up there is Shibuya Sky. And apparently it's one of the best views in Tokyo. It's a very, very popular place. So if you are coming here, get your ticket before you do. Wherever you are in the world, I've learned, if you can buy your attraction ticket before arrival, do. It saves a lot of bother. Up another escalator. Wow. Wow. Gosh, look at that. It's hard to believe that in 1945, there was absolutely nothing here because it was bombed in the war. And now, look at it. There's just buildings for miles and miles and miles. And the high as well. But there's always a little park there, isn't there? It's a bit like Central Park, Hyde Park. Now, there's a real massive queue to film the sunset over Tokyo. But I've just found this bit here. There's nobody cottoned on to this bit. <laughs> or are we not allowed here? Because <laughs> uh, that's fantastic, isn't it? I've read that my beloved Blackpool Tower is 518 feet tall, whilst this stands at 751. Sorry, Blackpool. And try this. Blackpool's home to 141,000 folk. Down there, there's 38 million people. Mind you, it is a tad bigger. Do you know, I don't know if that is actually mist or smog, <laughs> but whatever it is, it makes it look mysterious and romantic. Look at this. I hope it's taken. Just my luck, it won't have done. Oh, it has. <sighs> oh, yeah. Once in a lifetime, innit? that you uh, get a selfie with a view of a sunset on one of the highest buildings in Tokyo. After a much needed night's kip, I'm up early to experience Tokyo's spiritual side particularly its main religion, Shinto. Google Japan spirituality and you'll get over 71 million results. But I honed in on the city's famous Hijinja Shrine and discovered one of the easiest ways to visit the site is by Metro. So how hard can this be? I'm here, Shibuya, uh, and I'm going to Tamika Sano, there. Around a staggering three billion people use the Tokyo Metro each year, compared to a mere one billion on the London Underground. Purchase PASMO. PASMO lets you go on any train in Japan. It's a bit like an Oyster card. It's all geared up for convenience here. Buy the card, then use the PASMO app to top it up. And it's not just for travel. You can use it in vending machines too. So that's it. That's quite simple. It's really, really easy, even for me. <laughs> right, station. Now I really worried about Japan because I thought I don't know the language, uh, but they do everything in English as well. So I'm going to go up there because I need G6. I cannot get over how clean it is, how well structured it is. There's even a guard making sure that you get on and off all right. I mean, look at it. It's, it's immaculate. It's so well run. It smells lovely on here. And I, f I feel a bit... I don't want to bring my country down, but maybe somebody should come and have a look how this is run, you know, uh, because this is just second to none. And I'm really having a very pleasant experience on this today. I didn't know how nice it was going to be.
Now, I don't like to be caught short while travelling, so I'd better spend a penny or a yen, and I hear the public loos are like NASA mission control. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to uh, take you to see the toilets, because I want you to see how clean everything is and how fabulous it all is. But you can't come, all right? So I'm going to take this instead. See ya. Right, it's just me and you again. Me and you. I haven't done this for a while, have I? Right, look at this. Look at how clean it all is. Look. Look. It's a heated seat. It's like a B-day built in. Sphere rear. That's for the front. So you've got your pressure. This is the privacy. Privacy means if you're a bit loud or you've got a bit of wind. Can't hear you. It's a bit fab, isn't it? I think I'll keep one of them in mind. Can you hear the birds singing? Birds are singing, that's going, so you can't hear anything in here. And this is the public underground in Japan. That's better. But I'm not here to learn about the smallest drool, but to have the biggest experiences. So coming up, I'll be searching for the meaning of it all when I follow billions who have already learned their fortune at a Shinto shrine. I feel as if I was strolling on the spring fields with my family. So comfortable. Wow, that's quite emotional actually, isn't it? And I discover that bad manners back home are considered good ones here. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. Traveling around Japan to try and discover what makes this wonderfully different and sometimes beautifully bizarre culture tick. And I'm starting in Tokyo. We all know and use Japanese technology, but their spirituality is just as important here. So I'm keen to understand how those two sides work in harmony. To help me, I've booked licensed guide Yukiko, who's meeting me at the He Jinja Shinto Shrine in Shibuya. Yukiko? Oh, yes, I'm Yukiko. Oh, hi. hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, this is the shrine. Is it a shrine or a temple? Oh, this is a shrine. The temple yeah, is uh, for the Buddhism. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see. Yes. I see. So, temple's always Buddhist. Yes, always Buddhist. Yes. Right. And the Shinto uh, shrine is for the Shinto. Shinto. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is a worship of the nature. Okay. Yes, and also the ancestor worship. Mm -hmm. Right. Yukiko tells me that Shinto spirits take the form of many things. Wind, rain, mountains and even fertility. This gate uh, is called Tori and it's a kind of like a, uh, the boundary, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, divides the secret area from the secure world. So uh, when we go through, we show our respect to this place. And that respect is shown by bowing. Well, actually, uh, there are three types of bow, the light bow and deep bow and a bit wind. I think we would like to show our respect to the nature. So this shrine is all about nature. Yes, especially the mountain, deity, and also mm. the water. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, that deserves a, a deep bow. Yeah, deep bow. Okay. Yeah. okay, so let's do it together. Okay. In shrine, the yeah. middle path is considered as a path for divinity, so we just uh, avoid to walk on the middle. So right, we walk okay. on the side. So you never walk up the center? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's ah. right. Shrines are woven into the fabric of everyday life, used whenever people seek peace or serenity, and I can feel its spirituality already. So before we go into the main uh, hall, we mm -hmm. will purify ourselves at here. The purification is a very important part of the shrine. Right. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you wash your left hand. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then wrap hand. Uh -huh. And then rinse your mouth. Rinse your mouth. Yes, don't drink it. The point of this is to ward off bad luck, disease and guilt but I'm assuming it's much deeper than atoning for that extra glass of wine I had last night. Mm 
front of us is the main hall. Uh -huh. That's where the, the deity of the mountain was enshrined. So that's the worship to the mountain? Yes, worship of the mountain and also the water. But worship's not the only draw. You can pick up a blessed lucky charm or omamori for victory, health, wealth, you name it. So let's get a charm here. OK. With so much good fortune to choose from, I hardly know where to start. It's a charm for uh, the travel safety. Oh, travel safety. Oh, mm -hmm. I definitely need one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So what does this mean? So the, it means uh, the road uh, traffic safety. I will mm -hmm. put that in my uh, car. In fact, I'll take it everywhere with me. Yes. So mm -hmm. every car I'm in should, yep. that'll yep. be great. Yeah. So that's my present sorted. What about my future? Well, that's written on a strip of paper called an omikuji. A bit like the fortune cookies we get at home, but without the sugary coating. Is there anything bad in there? <laughs> yes. Actually, there are <laughs> several rungs. Right. Yes, from the best luck to the bad luck. So, oh. mm. but in the case, no worry. Um, there is a place that you can leave your bad luck. That's Come good. In. So if you get bad luck, you can leave it here. Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm pleased about that. They believe it's like hanging out the laundry. Bad luck just blows away in the breeze. I love the poetry and logic of that. How to do omikuji. Oh, Right. So. Please disinfect with alcohol. alcohol. And if you shake the box upside, mm -hmm. please show the stick. Yes. Down the stick will come. That came out mm -hmm. to the staff. OK? Yeah. I'm hoping this will be easier than it sounds. You can just pick, just pick one out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yukiko says omikuji are like horoscopes back home, not taken too seriously, but can sometimes offer comfort. OK. What is it? Wow. I feel as if I was strolling on the spring fields with my family. So comfortable. Wow, that's quite emotional, actually, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Your fortune, quite good. <laughs> that's all it is. You can realise almost everything as if you could drive easily on a downhill road. Work hard and belief and you'll be successful, just like grasses grow thanks to the rain heaven gives. This is just so, so beautiful. So this is good luck. This, this is bad good luck. luck. Yeah. This is good luck. Thank goodness for that. Wow. I was a bit worried about that, but mm. now... So you can keep it. I will definitely keep uh -huh. that. Thank you. I know we're supposed to bow, but I want yeah. to hug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this style. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so very much. I'm really sort of getting the culture here now. It's being grateful. It makes you think when you come to a shrine like this. And it's taking time out to actually be grateful. And this is what this is all about. All the deities that you're grateful for. It's very peaceful and it's, it just makes you feel better. It makes you feel better. It's amazing to think that just metres outside this zen calm is a high-tech city in motion. And I've an appetite to see more. Talking of appetite, all I can smell is incredible food. Lead on, stomach. I am in the mood for noodles. So I'm going to meet someone who's going to teach me all about ramen, which has got noodles in it. Ramen's very popular here, and I'm going to be honest, I've seen it on all menus back home. I know it involves noodles and soup, but that's all I know. As ever, the helpful internet hooked me up with a local foodie, Frank. Hello, Jane. Hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Likewise, nice to meet you. Oh, great. So you're going to teach me how to eat noodles? Yes, we're going to dive into some fantastic ramen. Oh, great. Ramen noodles. So I was right. Frank says ramen is a Japanese noodle soup, but way more than our humble minestrone. It's a rich broth with noodles and a selection of meat and vegetables. Do we just go in? Actually, we order from here. What? 
These photos will help us make our decision. Shall I have a look? Yeah, please, See? have a look. Now then. It all sounds good. Ooh, ramen and dumplings. What's in the dumplings? So those should be pork, cabbage, garlic, with a nice crispy exterior with the wrap there. Oh. So fried dumpling. So what do you do now? Put that in? Exactly, right through there. Ooh. There we go. Now we just need to pick up the tickets there and yeah. your change. We're going to give those tickets to the staff. I love this. You just pick it. It's like, right, I want, it's a vending machine, really. How long before my local chippy has one of these outside? Thank you. Cheers, do I give you those? Thank you. <laughs> you can also uh, choose the firmness of the noodles. Oh. Any preference? We could get, I think, you know, in the middle, like the yeah. normal is, uh, is a good yeah. way to go to okay. the edge of this. <laughs> oh, blimey. <laughs> It's like, how do you want your steak? Basically, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have it medium, please. Do do we all use chopsticks here, or? Yeah, ramen. We'll be uh, we'll be using chopsticks. Right. So you don't eat ramen with a spoon. You use a spoon to assist you with the noodles, if you like, and also use a spoon to grab a sip of soup. Okay. And do you use? That. You could do that, but it's going to be pretty hot, so I would say, yeah, start yeah. with the soup. Towards the end, though, as that soup cools down, this is also something that's definitely okay to do. Locals in Japan will slurp their ramen, making this vacuum cleaner-like sound really? when they're eating ramen. Is that not rude? Not in Japan. Really? Three reasons why Japanese will slurp. One is that you're cooling it down. Ramen is served piping hot. Two, you're taking in more air through your nose, so maybe enhancing the flavors, just like with wine. And three, you're complimenting the chef. Thank you. That's like a three-course meal, yes. isn't it? All in one bowl. All in one bowl, absolutely. Right, here we go. So here, Jeremy, we got chopsticks here for you and for me. Okay. So... Let's consider this uh, the noodle pull. Basically, you're reaching down and grabbing those noodles as such. How Grab come you've got them. all them and I've got that? Oh, it's just because I've had practice. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. It's OK. Since I've promised to throw myself into Japanese culture, I'm going to slurp like a local. It just feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say wrong. <laughs> it does make sense when you're over a bowl eating noodles with chopsticks because your mouth is having to work with the chopsticks. And to be fair, the noodles are quite slippery, so this is... Um, <laughs> I think you're doing a great job. <laughs> I never thought I'd be complimented on my soup slurping. But it's even little things like this which remind me I'm not in Wakey anymore. Coming up, I go in search of the iconic national sport. Before taking centre stage myself <laughs> and sticking with ancient arts, I try my hand at the wonders of origami and I'm taught by a master. Oh, that's good, isn't it? No. Never lips. Japan on the cultural experience of a lifetime. First stop on my solo tour is Tokyo. So far it's been full on, so I want to reset, take a moment and open myself up to the spirit of Zen. As a child I made paper planes and paper chains and that was the extent of my origami prowess. But today I get the chance to learn from a true master and my guide Yukiko is on hand to make the introductions. Yukiko tells me origami literally means folding paper and it's been here in Japan since the 6th century. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hi, Jane. Hi. So, uh, here's Mr. Kobayashi. Mr. Kobayashi. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Same. Thank you. <laughs> Same. <laughs> you speak a little English, yes? This is a pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than my Japanese. Mm. But very uh, interesting. Look at you, just, oh. <laughs> you don't even have to look. 
You just specialist. <laughs> specialist. How long? My company, 170 years old. Wow. Four generations, my father, grandfather, grandfather. Wow, amazing. Hearing how long his family's been connected to origami makes me feel incredibly honored to meet him. It's no surprise my guidebook lists his store as one of Tokyo's cultural treasures. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Mm. Rose. Her lips. England or rose? Uh, an English England. rose. Ah, so. It's amazing. Look at this. This is an art. I'm mesmerized by Mr. Kobayashi's ability to fold magic from paper before my very eyes. <laughs> That's for you. For me, oh, to yeah, okay. yeah? Wow. For me, that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Isn't it beautiful, that? Mr. Kobayashi travels the world teaching origami. What an honor to be taught by him. Here goes. Samurai helmet. Right, a samurai helmet. You know? Yes, right, OK. The course starts. I've got to make this now. No, the, I know. It's course it doesn't. Like that? Right. Okay. I've got no idea. Like that? Three folds in and I'm already lost. So there? Aha! Mr. Kobayashi makes this look so easy, but it's really not. Right. Got no idea. <laughs> oh. I was doing so well. Hi. Ah! Oh, so. Fantastic! Uh, hmm. Leave it to the experts, Jane. Do you need any skills to be able to do this? Concentration. Concentration. But you haven't got concentration. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very flattered. You, you, a joy to be around. <laughs> I have had the best afternoon with Mr. Kobayashi. All fun. He makes everything fun. And just like we do jigsaws and puzzles at home, this is very, very popular worldwide, but especially here in Japan. I could spend days with that man. And I have laughed so much with this beautiful soul. That is Mr. Kobayashi, so thank you. As my restful afternoon glides into early evening, I'm taking things up a notch. I've booked a night out, Tokyo style. From craft to culture, I'm throwing myself into one of Japan's finest and biggest exports, sumo. But I wanted to find a twist on the traditional. So a few searches later, I found just the place, combining wrestling, with food. Very excited today, because I'm here to have the sumo experience. Oh yeah, I've seen them on the telly, but I want to see one up close. So I'm really gonna get immersed in this today and learn all about what they eat and what they do and how they get into it. And I've got a little bit more access than normal. And I'm very excited about that. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jane. Ah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Ineko. And oh, welcome to our place. Thank you. And because you're so a little bit early today, would you like to go and take a look at the kitchen? Fantastic. Just for you. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's do this. So this restaurant is very <laughs> um, unique because we have the, um, the wrestlers actually prepare the food and oh. they also do the show too. Oh, that's good. Mm. So this chap was a sumo wrestler? Yes, they retired, they yes. They look very young to be retired. Oh yes, they're in their 30s. Actually, um, Joe Koryu, he just retired last September. He was one of the five strongest wrestlers. Really? Mm -hmm, in the so, championship. Yes. So we're on it today to get cooking by one of the champions. Yes, yes. These former champions learn to cook in sumo school where they counted calories to keep the weight on. In just two meals, they'd eat 7,000 calories a day. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Chopsticks, right. Hi. Mmm. How 
are you? I'm really well. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm Jane, by the way. Hi, I'm Rachel. This Rachel. Pippa, my daughter. Pippa. Hi, Pippa. We're just having a mummy-daughter trip from Australia. You've definitely got the look. It's fabulous. Oh, there you go. I've seen them cooking this and it looks really good. It does look good. What is that sauce? What is it? I don't really know. You don't know? Oh, that's a bit thick, isn't it? Oh, it really does go well with that. But that is delicious. Glad to see me chopstick training with Frank started to pay off. And then you've got your sesame cabbage there and then this lovely rice. All of it just mixes really well together. If I carry on eating like this today, I'm going to look like a sumo myself. But for the final course, something you wouldn't find in your local buffet restaurant, not without the police getting involved. OK, now, are you ready? This sport's been going on over 2,000 years, and clearly, they still love a good duster. Now, they will show you how to become... Last time I saw wrestling was on Saturday afternoon telly in the 70s. Now I finally see it in the flesh. The beginning, Tsukari. And I'm seeing quite a lot of flesh. You've definitely got the look. It's fabulous. <laughs> Butsukari Geiko is the last of the daily training. There's just one rule. Oniko explains that whoever's pushed out the ring first loses. Guys, back to the ring. Go, 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 Joe! Go, go, go! Otori, gambare, gambare, gambare! Gambare, gambare, gambare! Ah, OK, the first win goes to Joe! Audience participation's encouraged. So after that demo, it's time for me to suit up. This isn't right. They don't have lady sumos. Oh, hello. Get my agent on the phone. Are you ready? Of course. Uh, okay, Come on, and ready. you are? I'm Jane. From? From England. Okay. Yeah. So, our first brave and beautiful opponent of the day is Jane from UK. Let's give her a big hand. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank so, you. now, first. Yes, I know what you're thinking. And yes, my bum does look big in Very this. Sick. And to your right hand side, you give a stop. <laughs> Yaisha! Yes, yes. Yaisha! Okay, now you are ready for the match. I like her optimism. I think so. Okay. Go, 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 48 hours ago, I was settling down for my soaps. Now look at me. Go, Jane! Go, push him up! Push, 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 push! Go! Go, go, go! Go, 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 It's a lot louder than you think. He's built like a brick. He's built really strong him, you know. They're just, they just stand there and you can't push them or anything, so. But I won in the end, because that's how it is. Coming up, I discover the Japanese love of French-made cafe, but it's all good, clean fun, honest. It's just the most surreal place I've ever been in my life. And forget J-pop, I give you Jane Pop, here in the birthplace of karaoke. Don't I go, walk out the door. I'm a I'm doing a cultural tour of Japan. I've started in Tokyo, which is everything I'd hoped for and more. A mix of the strangely familiar and just the plain old strange. And if it's manic by day, it shifts up a whole other gear once the sun sets. And we're going to something called a maid's cafe, which is really, really popular here in Akihabara. It's about dressing up. 
There are a whole bunch of these themed cafes here in the central Akihabara district. But if I were expecting the better tea room, my guidebooks put me right. They're more like going through the looking glass into another world. I've no idea what to expect here. It looks like this is it. I'm on the lookout for Tokyoite Tommy, who's going to be my date. Presumably not kitted out as a maid. Sorry. It's okay. It's you okay. Know, Come on in. How are ah, you? Very good. Thank you. How are you? Very well. The idea of maid cafes made me think of 1970s carry on saucy maid shenanigans. Surely not. Shall we go in? Yes, Princess Jane. <laughs> I'm Master Tommy. Really? Main I... cafe, Princess and Master. Oh, is that right? Yes. My princess today. Yes. Yeah. I'm master. You're a master. Yes. Oh, nice. Let's go inside okay, our castle. Okay, Master Tommy. Fantastic. <laughs> We're stepping into a real-life experience of anime. It might seem bonkers to Brits, but it's based on fun. So you spend a wonderful day as a master and a princess, and you're the role model as princess. <laughs> 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 it's just the most surreal place I've ever been in my life. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. If we see someone in a maid's outfit back in the UK, it's got a different connotation. Mm -hmm. But here, that's not, not the case, yeah. is it? It's a very family orientated. Yeah, exactly. It's cute, it's fun, it's an innocent. Mm -hmm. Very innocent. Very innocent, innocent yeah. here. Because we are innocent. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. So um, it's, it's completely different to what you think it's going to be. I've seen many things in my life before, but this is another level. And we get to order pudding. Sweet well, little princess Sunday. So when we have a one bite from the buffet, we're going to get a 17 years old forever. So I'll look 17 years old? Yeah, so we're going to stay at 17 years oh, old. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> moe moe no moe moe is cute. Cute. It's a slang moe word. Moe. moe moe. And we are cute too. Yeah, you're, yeah. Well, I think we're cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's moe, moe, moe water. Yeah, moe moe water. water. Moe. Moe. Even the coffee's served up with a dose of cuteness. In Wakey, we just get a biscuit on the side. So we're gonna make the drink shake shake together. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna repeat the same word as she says. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's a bit reminiscent of a sit-down hokey-cokey, Japanese style. Shaka, shaka. Doki, doki. Waku, waku. I have no idea what's happening anymore, but I'm kind of getting into it. Thank you. Even though the drinks are already delicious, we can make, it, make them more delicious by making some magic. Okay. Make heart. Moe, moe. Moe, moe. Choo! Yes. Moe, moe. Choo! Believe it or not, there's nothing stronger than sugar in my shake, but this place has got me right giddy. Am I dreaming? <laughs> Is this a dream? <laughs> But actually getting into it <laughs> is fun. Thank you. <laughs> She's so cute. That's because she'll know it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. We're now performing a magic spell to fill the food with love. I literally cannot believe I have just said that sentence. I blame it all on this mahoosive sugar rush. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's just like being a child. <laughs> it tastes like being a child. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, Japan is full of adventures, but this has probably been one of the most different things I've ever done. Come and let yourself be cute. But this crazy night's not over. Fueled by the sugar rush, Tommy's run ahead to set up another surprise while I'm escorted there by Frank. Where are you taking me now? We are doing karaoke. Karaoke? Indeed. You cannot visit Tokyo without having a proper karaoke session. And here we are. Oh, 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 okay. Please come on then. in. Now, this is right up my alley. Oh, wow. Here you go. Oh, my God, you get a room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh my hey. oh, Hello. Hey, everybody. Nice to meet you. Tommy's brought his mates, so it won't just be me hogging the mic. Hi. 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 So what do you do? Just get up and sing? Or? Yeah, the stage is there. We could sit from the table, but maybe the stage is more inviting. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah we can, uh... Should we sing then? Let's do it. Yeah? All right, come on. Let's, Let's go. This is great fun, and I'm getting flashbacks. You can take Jane out of the cruise ship, but you can't take the cruise ship out of Jane. <laughs> One, two. I like this. <laughs> so, Jane, what would you like to sing first? Uh, well, I will survive. Okay, Big I will disco survive. track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to go with the disco ball. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love a Gloria Gaynor a moment? Oh, it's a classic. Yeah. First I was afraid, Woo! I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side Go on and go! Walk out the door! Pass the road, walk on the road, walk on the road I've got all my life to live, I've got all my love to give I'll survive! There are dogs in Kyoto who can hear that. That's incredible. <laughs> incredible. Oh, I'd forgotten how much fun this is. <laughs> On that note, I think we'll call it a night. Tokyo, what a way to start. Wow. This city's so big, brazen and brilliant. It's crazy, it's fantastic. So full of warmth, wit and welcome. Oh. <laughs> then I'm sticking around to discover even more of what makes it and its extraordinary people tick. So join me next time when I meet waiters with wires in a robot cafe. Wakefield is a city in West Yorkshire. Visit a world famous fish market where the seafood crackers are, well, crackers. Oh, ah, ah, that's hot. And I channel my inner warrior. <laughs> when I venture deep into a ninja village.